What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and today I'm going to be testing out the Emperor as part of my Does It Suck series. The Emperor is the legendary doll SMG, and quite a few people had recommended it. You can actually find this weapon from the Assassins out in the Southpaw Steam and Power, or probably Digistruck Peak I'd imagine. Now people, when they had recommended this weapon, and there were quite a few people that did, kind of said that they didn't really know what the special effect was on this gun, and so I thought it would be appropriate to compare it to a doll-barreled doll SMG, which is called a Fox. And in comparison with the Fox, we can see that the Emperor has a much increased base damage, a slightly lower fire rate, 6.1 compared to 8.0 on the Fox, and a much higher magazine size, 57 compared to 41. Now also, if we look at the um, burst size, the Emperor has a burst size of 7, which is pretty significant. Now the Fox has a burst size of 5, and it gets it off a little bit quicker, but obviously the Emperor has a much higher base damage, so I think the Emperor would be the clear winner in uh, DPS there. So we're going to test it out here in the Washburn Refinery and see how we do. I am using a legendary cat build Maya with a corrosive Bone of the Ancients to really increase the damage of this gun, and we'll see how we're able to do here against these enemies. And so that's the first enemy there without phase lock, and he died um, to about 25 rounds of ammunition, which is pretty good. That's not really that much ammo at all. And uh, as you can see, when we had phase lock active, we killed that guy very, very quickly. And we killed the rest of those guys decently quickly as well. Now, one thing I'm liking about this weapon right away is its very straightforward firing pattern. It just puts seven rounds downrange in a pretty straight line and you can't really complain about that. Um, that's a very easy weapon to aim and you can put a lot of rounds on the critical spot like that and so that's pretty cool. Go ahead and pick up this enemy I guess. Perfect. Try to get some chain reaction going. Didn't get too much of it. So this is a very straightforward weapon. This is just classic doll weaponry, I'd say. Um, obviously, it's not like the Sandhawk with slow moving rounds or a unique firing pattern. This just shoots out seven rounds straight dead ahead, and it is tearing through these enemies. I've never really used this weapon, um, but so far, I'd have to say that it's performing very, very well. Um, we're just using it, you know, straightforward here in the Washburn Refinery, and it's ripping through things pretty damn easily. Can't really complain about that at all because. Um, some weapons, you know, they have a unique firing pattern and stuff and require a little bit of uh, know-how and stuff to aim. Whereas this weapon is very, very straightforward. Even at range here, not hitting criticals on this badass, or now we're hitting a couple criticals, we took out that badass enemy in one phase lock with a little bit of time to spare and well under one magazine. Obviously with 79 rounds in the magazine, that's going to give us um, over 11 full burst from the magazine and that is just that's solid you'll kill um, you know almost any enemy before that obviously there are some enemies you won't like Saturn for example but um, you know most standard enemies I'd imagine you definitely kill in under one magazine so that's pretty solid and you know can't really complain about that at all um, trying to get through his arms here um, did reflect on myself a little bit so that was kinda stupid was able to go ahead and use life tap to get past that corrosive damage over time though so ended up surviving that I guess don't shoot it directly at a power loader's spinning arms because that's a good way to kill yourself so that's something to watch out for because it's so accurate um, it's pretty easy to go ahead and knock some exploders or other loaders down I'd imagine and that's pretty neat go ahead and kill that guy cool so this weapon is also pretty ammo efficient, um, considering that the um, SMG ammo pool is so deep. And on top of that, this weapon has high damage per round of ammunition. And so that's pretty good. We were able to stop that bull loader there by knocking off his arm. And that's, you know, a product of the weapon being damaging and accurate. Ooh, it looks like we got a... No, that's not a hot loader. I thought it was a hot loader. Oh, we do have a hot loader. Damn it, hot loader, you tricky bastard. So we'll kill that hot loader. Um, don't want hot loaders uh, applying a damage over time to us. I was going to say corroding, but I guess the deal would be igniting. That would be the proper word for it. Cool, so we'll kill this exploder, and now we'll get ready to take on the badass. Probably shouldn't have used uh, my phase lock on the exploder, but I did. 
Wow, so even at range there, we were able to knock the uh, badass's arm off pretty easily. Both arms off, wow. I guess I'll just go ahead and pick him up, and then we'll shoot at him and be moving past him. So, so far, the Emperor is really tearing through these enemies. It's doing a very, very good job. Uh, much better than I was expecting. Like I said, I've never really used this weapon. This is one of the very few legendaries that I've never actually got to drop legitimately in the game. Um, it can drop, but, uh, you know, I've seen it drop when I turned Cheat Engine on to increase the drops a little bit. But, like, I've never gotten this weapon in multiple Digistruct Peak runs, and that kind of leads me to believe that maybe it doesn't drop in Digistruct Peak, because I've got all the other bosses to drop their uh, legendary weapons in Digistruct Peak. So if you guys have ever seen the Emperor drop in Digistruct Peak, let me know. Um, surprisingly enough, I've never seen this weapon drop in Southpaw either, legitimately, from me, or from my perspective when I'm playing at least. Um, so that's kind of weird as well, especially considering you technically get four chances for this weapon to drop. You know, there's four assassins in there and stuff, so that's pretty crazy. A little hot loader back there, and hopefully I don't die to that damage over time. We got close to it, so that was kind of irritating. But, got past it with a transfusion grenade, so, nice. Um, that's pretty cool. Sometimes you do get kind of in a bad position and overpower levels with damage over time. But, as we can see, this weapon definitely does not suck. It's tearing through these enemies pretty damn quickly. It's very, very easy to hit critical hits with, even with the accuracy penalty from the Catcom. And, uh, you know, even at range, it's got good accuracy and stuff. That's partially due to the fact that I am using uh, Accelerate, which is increasing my bullet speed. But I'd imagine that, you know, with the Accelerated Prefix, which I'm using right now, that the bullets on this are pretty fast anyway. Obviously, with Accelerate, they are even faster. So that's pretty cool. Looks like we got this power loader, or gun loader, up here. So he's come all the way out from Hyperius' room. So this is going so well, I guess we're going to go ahead and take on Pervy and his friends over here in this room. And hopefully we're able to do that without dying. I should probably grab just a few more um, transfusion grenades before we go. Cool, six should be enough. Keep in mind that we are in four-player health now, so the enemies are going to be significantly more healthy and more damaging. So this should be a really good test for this weapon. So we still killed Pervy in one phase lock pretty easily. Alright, so I need to phase lock something. Pick this guy up. Wow, I do not like the fact that that hot loader has already woken up and has decided to come all the way out from way back there to um, attack me a little bit. So I'm going to retreat. Um, that's pretty irritating of that hot loader. But we'll deal with him and uh, we'll be killing him uh, the same way we're killing the rest of these guys with the Emperor. Hopefully the hot loader comes around the corner there and I'm able to phase lock him so where are you hot loader I want to knock your arm off there we go so we killed that hot loader are there any more loaders back here or was that the last of them nope looks like there's at least one more just one more it looks like so we'll kill him and uh, yeah that's the end of that so even at four player mode it completely wrecked those enemies and that's pretty cool. The Emperor is a strong SMG. I'm not sure why I've never really seen anyone use it. I've never really heard this weapon getting any love on any forums or YouTube or anything like that, which is weird because most at least half-decent weapons have, you know, kind of a cult following, um, at least among some people. And the Emperor, I would say, is close to a top-tier weapon, and I've never really heard it talked about or anything like that. So, as always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. The Emperor definitely does not suck in order to answer that question. And if you haven't taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.